Good morning. I am Eckhart, the German butcher. Today I want to show once more how I make Rolladen. That means meat rolls in English. <coughs> I tried to copy a recipe from my mother from long, long time ago. Even so, I've modified a little bit my way. I have here pre-cut meat laying already. I cut it very thin. That's the way I like it. And uh, I have three venison and four pork. So what I do first, I spice it with a little salt. But since it's so thin, be careful, not so much. Maybe I should say this, I always lay the meat that the bigger, the wider pieces on this side, so when I hold it up, it works better. You spray a little spices on, salt, pepper, That means the flavor enhancer. I buy that locally in a local store. Everything is written on the mix in, in uh, uh, Japanese, but it's on the bottom of this product made in German in, in America. So I take, I use this all the time. Just a little. And now comes the mustard. I have Dijon mustard. You also can use yellow mustard. What I normally use is Löwensenf, but I don't have any from Germany, so I use this. So I just put a little bit on. And then I take a spoon and spread it out. Give it a little, take a little, it will taste good. Because you hold it up, it goes into each other. Not enough, I take some from there. There we go. And now I put onions on there. In Germany, what we would do now, put onions in like this. Then I put a pickle in and a little cucumber. But I don't like cucumbers. And now in those days, I don't really take pieces of onions. I'm cutting it really small. And just lay some on there. enough. The next thing is bacon. I don't use bacon, I have jowls, but it's basically the same thing. I picked, I have different sizes, so I picked the right size so it looks better. I got one too many. How about that? That's okay. And now I take... Oh, normally in Germany we want to the bacon like this. They cut, slide, uh, put a piece of bacon in like this. Cucumbers and, and uh, carrots and then hold it up. So I use this instead. And then I take a piece of up. Cucumber, pickled, actually pickled, but they're too long, so I cut them in half because the meat is so small. And then I just roll it up. So I all roll 
them up like this. Now I want to show you how I tie it down. Long time ago, we took a twine and put it on. It was a pain in the neck. And then we had like a clamp you put it on of metal. That's good too. Now I just take a stainless steel a little picker or a piece of metal and do it like this. Now I want to hold one up in front of the camera. So I'd like to have the bigger piece on this side, so when I hold it up, that's the inside. If it's the other way, then it sticks over. And then I take a little stainless steel pick, or what you want to call it. And you can go like through like this, that's what I do. I used to do it, just go through like this. That worked too, but it's harder to fry, that's why I don't, up. I was not in front of the camera. I always do it side from left to right. We used to do it this way. But then you have problems browning it later on, so I don't do that anymore. Now I come to the last one. Like I said before, I used the stainless steel ice picks or picks, but if you don't have it, you can take your toothpick and do the same thing. Into the meat underneath and back up, and that's it. Now I have your pork and venison. You also can do it from beef. But you, what I would normally do, I don't, I watch out that they're not too big. Otherwise they're too big for one to eat. Number two, sometimes they cut them too thick. They're too heavy, then the meat gets dry. I like it this way. That is how I prepare my, my rouladen or meat rolls before I fry it. And as you know, I, uh, Make my own jowls. If you watch my movies, you see how I can do it. They taste very good and they're tender if you do it right. Watch my other movie, the next movie. And if you like it, subscribe and share with your friends.